Hey everyone, it's Jenny W. and I'm going to talk to you today about some cases from Caselete.com. Um, I found an ad on Facebook for some phone cases. Of course, you see all these ads on Facebook and they're very tempting and sometimes you end up trying them out and well, I decided to try this out because the power cases kind of caught my eye, like I was really interested in them. So I kind of, but then I was like, okay, maybe I should do a video and like show you all three of their kind of main cases that they offer. Uh, they also offer accessories and stuff like um, phone grips, kind of, that's kind of like a pop socket, and then screen protectors, and then like a little wallet sticky thing that you can stick on the back of your phone and put a couple cards in. And then they also have a case that has like um, a built-in kind of thing in the back of it where it can you can put like cards and like it has a mirror as well I don't think they offer that case as much as they do their uh, other three cases which is the classic the bold and the power um, but it, it was on their website I did see that I didn't get one of those though um, first I'll show you the classic this is the classic one that I ordered it has the cacti on it and it kind of is like an iridescent kind of pricklies on them um, it's firm, it like, it feels nice in the hand when you're, it's in, on your phone and stuff. It came in like a bag like this. This is the bag it came in. And you just kind of pop your phone in like that. Um, it does not have a whole lot of protection around the camera. There is kind of this little dipped in area, but it's not much. Um, the camera top is pretty much flush almost with the um, outside of the case. There's a little bit of a raised edge around the screen, but it's, I mean, honestly, it's pretty much flush. So you don't have much of a protection around the screen for your phone either. But it does feel nice in your hand and it looks pretty. Um, it's thin, it's not bulky, so, I mean, if you're pretty good with your phone and you don't really drop it that much or, you know, let your kids play with it or anything, this, um, might be the right case for you. It's the cheapest that they have, I think. I'm not for sure on the prices for sure right now, but I will post the links and everything to the website in the description box. So, they do offer afterpay, too. So if you, you know, wanted to get some cases and kind of just, you know, it, it's a more flexible option if you're like wanting to pay on them because I think their power case is, you know, maybe $50. I'm not sure. Again, I'd have to like link it all in the description box. I'm not even thinking about that right now. I'm just trying to get this video done. <laughs> so, but this is the classic case and how it's made and everything. All right, so that's that one. And again, I will post the prices and stuff in the description box. Um, I ordered a screen protector. I'm not gonna put that on right now. It's a tempered glass one. I ordered those, but like all of the tempered glass screen protectors, pretty much, they came with instructions, the wipes, and the screen protector. Um, the second case is the Bold. Um, the Bold collection is more protective. I think it's the most protective case that they offer. Um, this is the Sunflower one. It is matte. It's a matte finish. So I really like that a lot. Um, the inside, it reminds me a little bit of like a spec case on the inside. Only the back part is like a matte finish. It's not like glossy or nothing. Um, I mean, no fingerprints are going to show up. I really like that. Uh, and honestly, when you put your phone in it, it's a snug fit. Fits really nice. You get that grip around the edge there. Um, you do have protection around the edge of your phone. It's not like it's not flush. You actually have a little bit of a dip going down and you can feel it on the edge here. Like there is a difference and you have that protection around the edge of your screen, which is definitely something you want. 
Um, also, there is a little kind of area around the camera, which helps protect that too. So that is not flush. It is dipped down, so you have a lot of protection there around the camera. All the ports and stuff are accessible. Um, it's easy for me to lock my phone. Now I'm going to unlock my phone and see if the volume key works. Yep, the volume keys are working fine. So, I mean, I can get to the um, silent button too pretty easily. I mean, I really like this case. Honestly, it's probably my favorite um, just because I really like the matte finish and it's protective. And to go with this case, I bought a phone grip. So the phone grips, they do match the cases. You can buy one that matches your case. I don't know for sure if they have one that's gonna match every case that they sell, but they do have some that match some cases. Um, this one matches this case. Uh, the only thing is this is a matte finish and then the pop, not pop socket, but the phone grip is a uh, glossy finish. The uh, grip ring is pretty firm. I mean, it's you gotta really push on it to make it move down or up. So it it's a really nice kind of grip. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on yet or not. I haven't decided if I'm gonna use it. But that is something that they offer that you can buy too. Um, that's the bold case. Just so you see that again, it is their most protective case, so definitely recommend it if you're wanting to a good case, but stylish to protect your phone. And I really like the sunflowers. So I like the sunflowers so much, I was really hoping to get a um, sunflower case in the Power collection. Uh, speaking with power it made me think I wanted to show you really fast the bold case came in like this kind of packaging the power case that I'm about to show you came in like this and then you had the little door here that opened up and showed you the case um, the power case they they was out of it for the iPhone XR which is that's the phone that I have in the coral um, they didn't have the sunflower case, and I really wanted the sunflower case. Um, but they didn't have it, so I wanted to do this, you know, kind of unboxing for y'all so you can see it. So I went with this Daisy um, power case. Right off the bat, I can tell you I don't like how glossy it is. Um, I asked them on Facebook if all of the power cases were glossy or if some were glossy and some were matte finished and if some were matte finished like which ones were they because I kind of wanted to purchase a matte finished case but their reply was that all of the power cases now come in a matte finish but this one's not a matte finish um, I don't know if maybe they come in a matte finish now or what but this is uh, very glossy and you can see all of my fingerprints all over it and I haven't even literally had it out of the box that long. Um, the sticker is still on it. Uh, how this works is you pop off this top right here and then your phone slides down in those grooves of the case and you have to make sure that this goes into your charging port. So that is a little scary when that goes in, like just because I don't want to break that. Um, and I don't want to break it like off in my phone, of course, too. But then once you have that on, you're going to put this back down in there and then this slides between that and it clicked. You heard it click. Um, and then obviously it says unlock iPhone to use accessories uh, you don't have to do that you don't have to unlock your phone to charge it with this case 
Um, all you have to do to charge it, and it does come with a little bit of charge to it, but in order to charge it, you cannot just click it because it's just going to show you the lights. See those lights down here at the bottom right here? It's just going to show you those and it's going to go back off. You can't just click it. You need to press and hold it for three seconds and you'll feel it vibrate a little bit and then you'll see it start blinking and that means that it's charging. And then you can also look at the top of your phone here and see that it's charging. Um, this is not a protective case. Um, it's, it is bulkier and it is heavier. It adds some weight to your phone, which I mean, you're going to have to expect that when you buy like a uh, powered case, it's going to be a little bit heavier. Um, it's not too bad though. Um, like I could probably still deal with it, but one thing is that there's just no protection for your phone. It's completely flush with the screen. Um, you might be okay if you have a screen protector, but like since this is completely flush and there's nothing around the edge here, like your screen could possibly get very damaged. Um, also, I don't really trust this part here because like it, it might pop off if broken. So this isn't a case that's like meant to like protect your phone. It's just meant for like just extra boost of you know battery or something like that for example I might take this to a festival if I'm setting up my jewelry booth I might take it to a festival and use it to help keep my phone charged you know because I have credit card readers and stuff I have a square credit card reader which kind of makes me wonder if it's gonna work with a charging case on it so I'm gonna try that really fast I'm gonna pause this and then get back to you okay I'm back to you so I have my Square um, credit card reader. This is the MagStrip reader, and it is a lightning port. So the main reason why I would wanna use this power case is for festivals, so I'm just curious if I log into Square, if like I'm going to take a credit card or something, if it will recognize the reader seal. This here's the like the checkout screen. Like I can type in the amount or I can go to my library and find the item that I want to charge them for. So it should say reader connected when I plug this in. Hmm. It's not pop oh, there we go. It says reader connected swipe to charge. So I can use this power case and use my lightning connector um, mag strip reader from Square as well. So that is good to know and just in case you wanted to know that information you can use it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna unplug that. So that is nice to know. Um, out of all three cases I have to say that my favorite is the Bold. Um, just because I like the feel of it. I know it's gonna protect my phone and I really like the matte back of the case. Um, I was really hoping that this would be a matte finish. I don't know, I might contact them and see if they can send me like a matte finished sunflower one when they get back in stock, I don't know. Um, Cause I'd much rather have it than this glossy case. I know I would use it. Um, but anyways though, those are the three cases, the three main cases offered by Casely.com. Um, this is kind of their website down below here, getcasely.com. They have a subscription as well. It's $15 a month. You can pause this if you need to read it. Um, and then there is the back of the card. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, feel free to ask some questions. Like I said, I don't know like um, the prices right now. I will try to list them in the, the description box. Um, this case is pretty easy to use. You just hold this button down for three seconds and it will start charging. Um, I recommend probably that you just, you know, if you're gonna use this case a lot, just charge it at night. Same thing that you do with your phone every day or when you get the case charge um you know charge your phone and case up 
like overnight really good one time and just you know I don't know I would just recommend charging your phone every night like you normally do and then just use this as a backup if you need to is what I would recommend like I would probably I would only use this case for like vegetables probably because it's just it doesn't have much protection to it and it's really shiny but other than that I think it's a nice case and I really like this one so just let me know if you have any more questions I'll try my best to answer them um, and stay tuned to my channel I'm gonna be doing some uh, resin tutorials and stuff with some things that uh, I was sent by bbcraft.com I was sent some things so I'm gonna do some video tutorials with that stuff hope you like this video